Welcome everybody, this is your boy Joanna Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about add-on pins on how to install add-on pins in your Grand Theft Auto V folder and even pins too. So guys make sure you download all the requirements that is in some of the description and make sure that you download native UI.dll version 1.82. Make sure that all of the requirements are up to date because they do require to be up to date guys. And another thing guys, I'm going to say a few notices too. Number one, people are saying that the add-on pins does not work and the L button does not work. I tried this mod so many times guys and it does work. So as you guys can see in the comments, people saying that failed to spawn. Some says that the L button does not work. Over here, L button does not work. Some say it fail, fail to spawn again, and now uh, some say it crashes my game. So guys, rule number one, do not add more than 10 pins inside this mod. This mod can only handle 10 pins and that's it. So do not add more than 10 pins because it cannot handle over 10 pins. If you have over 10 pins in this add on pins mod, okay, okay guys? then your game will definitely crash. Remove all the pins that you have and make sure you only have 10 pins. Rule number two, that this add-on pin guys is required with a native UI. So make sure that you have native UI.dll version 1.4. If you have map editor inside your script folder, then remove that guys because map editor only supports version 1.7 native ui.dll now guys we're gonna get straight to it okay but one more notice guys is that if this mod does not work for you okay and you followed this tutorial then there is a file inside your grand theft audio v folder that's affecting the mod to work so the only solution that i can say guys is to create a new Grand Theft Auto V folder which means uninstalling and installing your back two guys okay so make sure you guys do make another folder okay because it is really really important so guys we're gonna get straight into it okay now all you guys gotta do okay is download all the requirements the latest versions and then download this mod I will leave this mod in some of the description second download this page selector i will leave this page selector inside my downloads make sure you guys download this because this is really important once you guys have finished downloading the page selector and the add-on page mod then all you guys gotta do is go to your grand theft auto v game hover over it right click and open file location now as you guys can see this is a complete clean folder except it's got a mod folder because i put it there now guys we are going to get straight to it okay all you guys got to do is make sure that you install all the requirements so what you guys got to do okay this is your grand theft auto v main directory open up your script hook v extract folder go into your bin folder and select input 8.dll and script hook v.dll drag both files inside your gta v main directory this application will pop up just push replace and now guys open up your script hook v.net extract folder and select script hook v.net.asi.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your gta v main directory now we are going to open our trainers 
Open up your trainer V, extract folder, select trainer V.asi, trainer V.ini, drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi. Drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys, this is optional. You can download it if you want to, but this will be inside my downloads. Download map reveal and open interiors and open up your extract folder. Copy all three files inside the extract folder and drag it inside your GTA V main directory. Remember guys, this one over here is optional. You can do it. You can download it if you want to. It's totally up to you. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Right click and refresh your folder. Right click again and create a new scripts folder and name that folder scripts. Press enter once and press enter again. Now we are going to install the latest native UI.dll file. Click on your native UI.dll and drag it into your scripts folder. Now that's all we're going to do guys. We have finished installing the requirements. If you guys don't know if you got the latest version of native UI.dll, then hover over your file, right click, go to properties, then go to details and it will show you file version 1.8. Now leave your scripts folder open guys. Go to your add-on pets extract folder. Okay guys, and all you guys gotta do is leave it towards the side. And now guys, open up your pets selector extract folder. Drag it towards the side. Go inside your pets selector folder inside there. And now select pets selector.dll. Drag it inside your squids folder. Exit out of your extract folder, go back to your GTA V main directory. And now guys, what we're going to do now is go into your mods folder, go to update, go to time 64, go to DRC packs. And now what we are going to do is go to your extract folder, go inside your DRC packs. Now hover over add on pins folder. Click on it guys and then drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Now go back to your main folder on your extract folder and go back to your GTA V on your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Now the next thing we are going to do guys is that we are going to select add on peers editor.exe and add on peers vast.xml. Drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Open up your readme.html and then scroll down the bottom guys and you'll see a code. Copy this code, okay? Make sure you copy the whole thing, okay? The whole line. Exit out of your browser. And then now exit out of your and then now exit out of your extract folder guys right click on your Grand Theft Auto V game refresh the folder then exit out of your folder guys now all you guys got to do is open up your open IV and then now go to Grand Theft Auto V windows this will take a few seconds it all depends on your PC performance now once you guys have completed this all you guys got to do is go to edit mode and select yes. Go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, scroll right down the bottom, go to drclist.xml and then now right click and edit. Scroll right down the bottom guys and then select the items right at the end and then press enter and then paste your code in there guys and that's all you guys gotta do save your code go back to your drclist.xml 
and make sure your code is in there and yes it is now exit out of there guys go back to your ggav main directory on your open iv now just minimize that for now guys now guys we have fully installed add-on pads but now the next thing we are going to do is we're going to install a pad now you guys can install whatever pad you want you guys can do anything but the pad that i'm going to do guys is this pad over here so all you guys got to do is download your pad whatever pad you guys want it's totally up to you once you guys finish downloading your pad all you got to do is open up your pad extract folder now open up your folder guys now there will be a few things inside your paired folder okay but guys the most important thing you've got to know is your files okay so let's just say uh these files okay now we are going to focus on this guys your dot ydd dot yft dot ynt and dot ytd those are the only four files you gotta load into your open iv so guys the next thing we are going to do is open up your open iv go to your mod folder go to update go to time 64 go to drc packs go to add on pins go to drc.rpf go to pins.rpf and now as you guys can see we got other pins in here now guys this is optional you can do it if you want to but i'm gonna do it okay you can delete all this if you want to it's totally up to you but i'm going to do it anyway now all you guys gotta do okay is select your four files dot ydd dot yft dot ymt and dot ytd drag those four files inside your open iv and that's all you guys gotta do okay and now we're going to exit out of your extract folder now all you guys gotta do now is click on edit mode click on gtav and then now exit out of there okay, okay guys guys just to let you know okay uh i forgot to mention uh, if you are downloading a, downloading a mod, okay, if you're downloading a pad, make sure you grab one file and put it on your desktop. Now, go over here, guys. Hover over your file, right-click, and rename. Then copy the name in there, guys. And then that's it. Now, open up your Grand Theft Auto V file. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Right-click and open file location. Now we are going to add the pad inside our folder. All you guys got to do now is right click on your add on pads editor and run as administrator. Now we are going to open up our extract folder guys. Now guys, if you are the first time installing add on pads, this will come up okay. If it's your first time, press OK. Then the add on pads is now installed press please click ok and then click ok and now guys there we go ok now what we are going to do guys is that since we deleted these two files we're going to delete them both ok because we don't need them now guys to install your pad ok inside your folder all you got to do now is go to your drop down menu pads and then add a new pad and then now paste the name that you copy from here inside your model name go to peds type and now the peer type is may is female and now uh then now guys is streamed make sure it is false okay always leave it as false okay guys um if you are downloading a peer that it's only with four files then it is false if you downloading a peer that has four files and one folder that means it's true okay guys always always remember that now click on add pad and then click on rebuild and click on ok and then exit out of there guys now all you guys got to do next now is go to your grand theft auto v game folder right click refresh well, refresh your folder 
exit out of there guys right click and refresh your desktop and now i'll see you guys in the game well, welcome back guys we're here with franklin and now we're going to go and show you guys the mod that it does work okay so all you guys gotta do okay once you get into the game is press your l key now guys we're gonna go and push the l key in five four three two one and cut for you see guys it does work okay to those of you who are saying that it doesn't work well guys there's something wrong with your eyes or there's something wrong with your folder okay so it does work guys so now we are going to test the uh, pair to see if it works go to your add-on pairs okay and then here it goes in five four three two one and then now guys there it goes see so yeah guys um that is how you install your pad and your add-on pads guys so guys you saw me installing the add-on pads and the pad inside a clean folder there was absolutely no mods inside the folder okay except for the mods folder that i just added but there was no mods inside there guys okay whatsoever and now it works okay guys so guys like always okay uh, make sure that you download all the requirements and make sure it's the latest version and make sure that you use native ui.dll version 1.8 okay guys and if that does not work okay guys and if you follow the tutorial and your game keeps crashing then guys i'm very sorry i cannot help all i can say is that there's a file inside your grand theft auto v folder okay that's affecting the add-on page to work so i suggest you guys to make another clean folder okay guys and then install the add-on page inside there and just to let you guys know that the add-on page can only handle 10 pairs so you cannot have more than 10 pairs inside your inside your add-on page okay guys so if you guys have more than more than 10 pairs then you will come across a lot of crashes okay guys so make sure you guys only add 10 pairs in that set okay so guys with that all said i hope you guys do enjoy this video and i hope you guys do succeed on your mods okay guys so with that all said guys if you guys have any questions okay and if you guys are needing help okay then make sure you do join my discord server i'm always there and active and always um online too guys so make sure you guys do message me on discord server or just comment below and then i might um reply back late but please forgive me if i do reply back late okay guys because i do have a busy schedule so with that i see guys i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did please smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching guys Peace, and I'm out.